Yeah. Um, so when I was a kid, I was, uh, how do I put this? I, a menace to society. Um, <laughs> yeah, I would, I had these goggles on like big goggles, you know, just the strap all the way around. The I dreads. Was, yeah. The dreads, you know, they, they were rec spec shades, you know, like the, <laughs> you know, those ones that they turn into sunglasses. Yeah. You go yeah. Yeah. So I, you know, I was there with my sunglasses and my, my sun goggles. <laughs> um, Right. You know, Rex Beck. Yeah. Oh, I don't know why I thought that was because you actually had something with the eyes. I thought it was like a no, it is. Oh, I have okay. context now. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. But well, you could have had context then. This is, yeah, matu- this is maturity. No, I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all part of the evolution. <laughs> but no, I, yeah, it was it was uh, it was tough for me, and I, I, you know, I went out on the court. I was screaming a lot. I was I was Spectacle, yelling a lot. I would say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. It was. You know, you never you never know what's gonna happen. That's that's what yeah, they would always that's say. That's the best way to put it. Like, you never know what's gonna happen in a Lafayette match. Like he could he could have the best match of his life and just destroy the other guy one yeah. and one, no matter who it is. Yeah. Like, you know. I mean when I was fifteen, I think I played my first twenty five K here in Canada in Calgary and, and I qualified and won a round. And I think I I took Diego Hidalgo or something okay. uh, to, to three sets in the second round. I think he's top 50 in doubles right yeah. now. Yeah. And he, he ended up that year, I think he finished around the top like 250 or so in singles. Yeah, I was about to so say he's very good in singles yeah. as well. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, you know, I can have those matches, but then like Calgary the next year, I played a, a guy, I forgot his name, but he he had like a, the two, not the, not the two handled. Did he have the, t- I think he did have the two handled racket. What's this guy's and, name? Uh, and I lost to him. I beat him in the first set 6-0. I think I lost four points in the first set. Okay. And um, and then I don't know what happened, but just mentally. Badis- Badistone? Could it be something? Badistone? No, it wasn't Brian Badistone. I know uh, I, he has the double head, uh-huh. but it was a different guy. It was a Canadian guy. Okay. A really old, older guy. Um, like he at the when I played him, he was like 34, 35. Okay. okay. And um, yeah, I ended up losing 7-5 in the third. But no way. I like no disrespect to this guy. Whoever you are, I, obviously <laughs> I don't you know, mean to disrespect you, but like there is absolutely no way i just uh-huh. have lost that match uh-huh. yeah. but mentally i just after the first set i won at 6-0 and then i lost i think i lost one game in the second set and i was like oh come on i, I can't, yeah, can't get a 6-0 6-0 all right <laughs> back, it up, back it up back it up you know we go home you know? it's a wrap <laughs> so uh yeah yeah so that's kind of what you could expect from me i, yeah. I remember one time in in jamaica I was playing a semifinal against Camilo Hugo Caravelli. Uh-huh. And um, that was my seventh semifinal in a row. I had lost all of the previous six. Okay. Uh, yet to get my first title. And then in that, um, in that one, I actually, I had played a Jamaican guy earlier in the, in the week. And I destroyed him, you know, using my signature um, mixture of just uh, pure disrespect and, uh, and athleticism. <laughs> 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 you know, apparently... I. I didn't know about this until later, but apparently one of the referees was related to him in some way. Okay. And that referee was my referee for the semifinal. Um, now, I'm not going to say that was the reason why, because, again, I was young, so I made a lot of inferences back then that I might not have made now, but <laughs> this one seemed to be pretty clear cut. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, this this woman was making all kinds of calls against like the entire there they had a little row of kids in the front you know they had like two rows of kids yeah. in the front and they were the kids even were like wondering what's going on <laughs> you know like yeah. so you know i'm getting madder and madder the yeah. guys playing well too like Car- carabelli good he's, he's a good player man yeah. like, you know and um so i end up losing like four and six or something right um, I finished the match. I go up. I shake, you know, Carabelli's hand. You know, I'm like, great match, man. You played well. Um, cause, you know, he cool. We cool. And I turn to, I turn the ref and I flip <laughs> off the ref, take my racket and throw it out of the stadium. <laughs> my racket threw out of the stadium. I just walked off the court. <laughs> I just walked off the court. I was like, fuck this. I was wandering around the streets of Kingston for like an hour. <laughs> I was like, damn, I can't really go back now because I just stormed off the court. You know, I left my stuff there. Well, so you I'm just like, walked off, left everything. I just walked off the court. Yeah, I left everything on the court. Where was Pops? Uh, I honestly, I don't know. I do not know at the time. You wouldn't have been able to do that if Pops yeah, was there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, he would have followed me quick. Man. <laughs> oh man, but yeah. So uh, they, um, they actually, I lost out on my chance at the U.S. Open that year because of that. So they ended up suspending me for that one. 
from ITF for about three months. That makes sense. Um, <laughs> yeah, you know, <laughs> listen, I'm not gonna lie. You that know, adds I, up. I am a lot more mature now, but uh, you know, <laughs> maybe, maybe I shouldn't have flipped her off, but like. Man, <laughs> I know y'all have had one of those matches where the, you, uh, the referee just straight, like, you know, yeah, going yeah, crazy. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't have one with the referee, but I had one with, like, one of these college teams. I was playing in college in Texas. I was playing mm. qualies. Okay. Man, I don't remember what was happening, but I, I think I won the first, serving for the second. Yeah. And, like, maybe I'm tight or something. I don't know. I end up losing the second, but I lose it by, like, Second serve, double fall, where hits the top of my racket and goes oh. over the fence. Oh, no. And the teammates of the guy goes crazy. Really? Yeah, crazy, crazy. Oh, and I just look over. <laughs> <laughs> I do the exact same as you. I look yeah. over, I just go, yeah. like, to, to <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I end up coming back and winning that match. Oh, but it was okay. so it was <laughs> qualities of the future, so there was no referees around. Like yeah, no one saw. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, that's yeah, fair. yeah, it would have been a little bit different now. Of course. Naturally. Yeah. <laughs> but also probably shouldn't have. Uh, yeah. Kids, don't don't flip off your opponent and or the referee. <laughs> you know, but I've I've learned now that you know the referees are just they trying to do their job. Sometimes they really don't do it that well. But then again, to be fair, I'll be playing terrible sometimes exactly. too. You know, yeah. <laughs> so, 